Hello YouTube, this is everyone's favorite girl gamer, Loren the Fox, and I'm here to give you a review on Shadow of Mordor for PlayStation 4. I will probably be doing another video with some of the gameplay. Um, for right now, I'm just going to basically give you an overview of why I love this game so much. So my boyfriend is actually the one that decided we were going to get it, and uh, I was a big J.R.R. Tolkien fan back in high school, like so big that I actually read all the books, yes, every single one of them, from The Hobbit all the way to the end. And um, I was like, hmm, maybe it's not going to be such a good game, so because, you know, like, people, people will take the games that, um, I mean, the books that they read, and then they'll make a game out of it, and they'll completely and totally change the storyline way too much, and it'll, it'll, I don't know, just, it never really ends up great. So, I was a little bit skeptical about it at first, but I'm so glad I gave it a try. This game gets a 5 out of 5 star rating for me, because it is one of the best games that I've ever played. Um, they introduce a new type of enemy system called the Nemesis system. So basically, you've got Sauron's army, and whenever Sauron, uh, one of Sauron's armies gets killed, like let's say uh, Tars, Tars gets killed. Okay, well if you don't execute the guy and cut his damn head off, he's gonna come back because he's not uh, he's not actually dead. You didn't actually execute him. Um, there's also the ranking systems, like you've got the regular captains, you've got I think three rows of regular captains, and then you've got uh, a row of war chiefs. And the war chiefs are obviously, they're, they're a lot more, um, a lot more powerful, they're veterans, and um, they're kind of hard to kill, it's a little bit messed up sometimes. But um, so, once you kill a war chief, if they're executed and they're not laying spread eagle prostrate on the ground in Sauron's army, that means they're not coming back, then somebody else is going to have to take their place and get promoted. Uh, also, every single time that you die, speaking of promotions, every time that you die, let's just say that you randomly die to something, you fall off a cliff or take too much fall damage, which is impossible in this game, but hey, um, we're just going to say that you spontaneously combusted or something that has, or got killed by a Karagor. There you go. You got killed by a Karagor because, damn it, you forgot to press the X button just to get the hell out of the way. So you get killed by a Karagor. This advances time, and the Oryx that are in Sauron's army can duel each other. And they will have this this insanely um, insanely bloodthirsty type of, of duel. And whichever Oryx dies, his, uh, he gets replaced if it's one of the higher ranks. So let's say that um, Olgoth up here in like tier three is fighting um, Prak, who's down here in tier one. Well, let's just say that Prak decides that he's going to be a total complete fucking badass that day and he kills him. Well, then Prak takes his place and he gains in power. And the more times that you die, or the more times that you advance time, the, the more the nemesis system really works. I, I love this system, by the way. It's got a lot of the parkour effects from Assassin's Creed, which is really cool. It's one of the better things, although there are still the problems about the parkour system from Assassin's Creed because it's like, oh my gosh, I can't move, you know, exactly where I went to. There's this spot where uh, you're you're trying to get through a window, and you're trying to just vault through the window, and yeah, that doesn't work out very well. You just end up like going straight up the wall. I need to fix that, but. Overall, I give this game a 5 out of 5 star rating. I'm going to do a video with some gameplay, and um, I'm also going to be doing a, um, a kind of like a little walkthrough of a couple of the strategies and the tips that I have come to figure out that are the best ways to get around some of the toughest spots, like the, uh, the strongholds, how to use the trapped Karagor as well in stealth mode to your advantage, the best way to, um, to kill each one of the war chiefs and captains that I have found, even though the war chiefs and captains change from time to time, like their names are not the same from one game to the other is what I've figured out. Um, some of them, their titles are different. So like Tars, um, Tars could be, let's see, Tars the Flesh Eater in my game, and he'll be um, Tars the Cannibal in another game or something, or he'll be uh, the Karagor Tamer or some shit, I don't know. But anyway, leave a like and a subscribe, tell me what you think about it, the game in the comments below. If you play on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, Mac, whatever it is you play on, or PS3, please leave it in the comments below, tell me why you like the game so much, and um, what kind of things you would like to see me do a let's play on and kind of like a little bit of a walkthrough on like some stuff that you're having problems with because whenever I first started the game it sucked it was terrible the controls were awful I've been playing Dark Souls 2 and it was just yeah 
Alright guys, this is Lauren the Fox saying I hope you enjoy Shadows of Mordor. I'm playing on PS4, but happy consoling or PCing, whichever one you're doing. Toodles!